put up my picture and then a hotel picture and then with the word scam on it. Oh my and god. And then people were thinking that I was the scammer. Oh my god. And then the the comments were like, just because she's a celebrity, um make sure she goes to jail. Hey, this is Jean Denka and welcome to the Are You OK podcast. Today we've got actress slash host slash mother of three. She makes it look so easy. It's Neural Ivy! Hi! Thanks for having me here, Jean. Thank you for taking the time to join me today. You're welcome. Um, you're looking like a vision, like a goddess as always. Please, because I have to see you. I have to up my makeup game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I was yep. just, you know, I was like, prepping for the interview with you mm-hmm. today and uh, last night I was like you know writing your, your name down then I was like Nurul Aini it's like you know in Chinese Wo Aini mm. do people get do people say that to you all the time Nurul Wo Aini <laughs> <laughs> I say to people Nurul Aini uh, ah. I love you <laughs> I love that. That is so cute. I can't believe I only just realized it, but that's what I'm going to call you from now onwards. Okay? What I need, Nurul Aini. <laughs> what yeah, I need, Nurul Aini. <laughs> you are a super mom. You have it together. You're a working mom. You're an actress. You're a host. You've got three kids. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you do this and make it look so easy? <laughs> and how, how does it affect your mental health? You know, actually, um, a lot of the mental health issues that is going on right now, I feel like it is partly because of social media. Mm. We have this pressure, you know, to actually impress people via social media. And my generation, we are born like in the middle before social media and then with social media. So we get both, both sides. And... I don't remember when I was younger going through any mental health situation. But then, now that we are all talking about mental health, right, I realised that, oh my god, maybe I did went through it, but it wasn't recognised. You know, people mm. weren't talking about it. So I feel like it's good that we are all talking about it, you know. But it's important also at the same time to understand that we can actually go through this on our own. We can actually get help. We can seek help. And having a good uh, family support system is very important as well. And good friends. I have so many good friends. I really have to thank them. You know, when I need help, they are always, always there to help me. So I guess that's how I go through. Yeah. Yeah. Right now in your life, what what's overwhelming you right now at this moment? Is there oh. something that's kind of really oh. weighing on your mind? Oh, right now? Yeah. This current moment, it's my, my little baby going to school. Um, she started going to nursery and it was just a lot of emotions for me, you yeah. know, because she's my last kid. And I remember before having her, after I had my second one, I'm like, they're seven years apart, you know. After I had my second right. one, I told my husband, no, 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 no more, no more. Enough, <laughs> enough. Close factory. <laughs> but then, when she got, when she wanted to go to primary one, I'm like, oh my God, I have no more baby. I have no more baby to smell. <laughs> and then I said, you know what, we got to make another one. Wow. Uh, my husband like, all right. <laughs> he's all for it, right? <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's like, okay, let's go. So, yeah, we we have another baby. And then, just a blink of an eye, she's going to school. How I'm like, old is she now? She's three this wow. year already. Okay. And it's like, so fast. what? I'm losing already the baby stage. It's got, maybe we should make another one. Is, is, is it happening? <laughs> Never is ending. Happening? I cannot laugh. <laughs> I wish, okay. but no. Now my husband said, like, no, enough, enough. enough. It's enough. never going to stop if I'm going to keep on missing the baby period, right? So, you yeah. Need to my... bottle up the smells of the exactly. baby. Exactly. I mean, someone's got to think about that, you know. Just bottle yeah. it up. I'll buy. I'll promote it, guys. Yeah. She'll be the ambassador of baby smells. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's what I'm going through right now. So, every day okay. sending her to school and then not knowing what to expect. Is she going to cry? Is she going to ask for me, you know? Yeah. So, and it's only been like two weeks of school. So, it's still very, very new. Yeah. Mm, so, okay. Yeah. Now, um, we're going to talk about like social media and, um, yeah. you know, your following. It's a huge following that you have on Instagram. And recently, there's been like a whole spat of like, I, I read about your, um, the hotel scam oh, situation. Oh yes, let's talk about that. <laughs> I mean, okay. So... I mean, I, I know you, you I, I read a news article about it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was crazy. Yeah. Can you tell us all about that? Okay, okay. So what happened was there was this particular lady whom my friend engaged. Okay, my friend actually booked a hotel stay um, through her. Okay. And she said that she works in a travel agent company, tra- okay. travel agency. 
So that's why she got the very, very good uh, deals. Yeah. And my friend went for her staycation and everything was good. So I'm like, hey, okay, then, you know, I want to book too. So I booked through her. Only once. <laughs> Only once I booked through her. And then it was during my birthday. And... Everything was perfect, you know. And then when I uploaded stories and she she asked me, hey, why didn't you tag me? I'm like, oh, okay, fine, you know. I'm grateful to her, right? So I tagged her. And then she, after that, got a lot of bookings. Right. Um, and then I, I don't know what happened, but I think she got overwhelmed or something. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, I on, on this particular day, I'm getting people DMing me and saying, hey, do you know that you're actually uh, part of a scam? I'm like, what's going on? So I started Googling and then everybody was like talking about it online, right. on, on social media, on IG stories and then tagging, my, putting my name down and everything. So I was reading and people were saying that she scammed people and each household like up to $5,000. <gasps> and there are like so many, there are hundreds of people coming forward, you know. And then I got so many DMs. I received so many DMs asking me what's going on. Yeah. Are you part of the scam? Oh. Are you earning from this? Why Why are you promoting a scammer? I was so upset. And then it was overwhelming for me. I don't know what to say because I don't know what's going on. So I texted that girl. Yeah. I said, what's going on? Why, why are you doing this? People are asking me what's going on. She didn't reply me for days. And I kept getting... Um, hate messages, you know, uh, you got to deal with this, you know, hey, uh, you know, I work so hard for this money for my kids to enjoy the staycation and now I can't even go and then like, or oh, some of them had to pawn their goal and everything oh for a staycation gosh. and I feel so bad. So what I did was, um, after discussing with my family members, they said that I think you need to take ownership. You need to 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 explain what happened and that you're not part of it. Because if this lady is not going to say anything, then you got to clear your name, right? So my sisters helped me. They told me that I should upload something on Instagram, which I did. And I explained myself with screenshots of my messages with her. And it was innocent, you know. From the messages, you know that it was just one-time booking and that's it, you know. Yep. And she she didn't scam me. So, from there, I got like 800 over comments. People were saying, oh, uh, thanks for telling us the story. So, so, I felt better. Yeah. And then after that, it was all over the news. It was in so many news platforms until one particular news platform <laughs> put up my picture and then a hotel picture and then with the word scam on it. Oh my and god. And then people were thinking that I was the scammer. Oh my gosh. And then the, the comments were like, just because she's a celebrity, um, make sure she goes to jail. Don't let her oh. off so easily and all that. Oh dear. Oh my god. Then, oh no. then, then people were sharing the article and I was getting <laughs> DMs again. People were like, why do you scam people? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. And all this were happening at the point where Lion Mums was showing on TV. Right. And in Lion Mums, I play a lawyer. Oh, <laughs> like the irony, right? You know? <laughs> They're like, isn't she the one who plays the lawyer? Wow, I guess she don't know the rules. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Just, there was so much going on at the same time. And just at that point of time, then yeah. a lot of people commented like, and said that you guys, she already explained and then you guys should not use her family photos, my yeah. kids, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but wow. like that lah. How on earth do you deal with all these negative comments that were coming through? I'm sure they were, you know, by the hundreds oh my before God. you explained yourself and everything. Because it's hard. I mean, people can say like, yo, you should be used to it because you're a celebrity. But to be honest, I think it always hurts, yes. you know, no matter what. Yep, yep, How yep. do you deal with that? I had to put my phone away. Um, I told my husband that I cannot, I cannot take it. There's so much and I cannot just, I cannot be replying every single one. Yeah. So my husband said, okay, just put the phone away. Just don't, don't, don't look at it. And then after that, I'll get WhatsApp messages from my friends who will <laughs> screenshot and oh, send no. me. They're trying <laughs> to be good friends. And, <laughs> like, hey, do you like, see oh, this? No. You know, do you see this? Then it got overwhelming. Yeah. But I would say um, my husband helped me. He was, he was the one always calming me down, you know, saying like, it doesn't matter. You know, it'll, it'll blow over. And you know how social media is like, They'll be like talking about this thing for very, for like for a good one, two days, and then after that it's gone again. Mm. You know? So just tahan lah, he said. Which I did. And then the post lah. And also I tell you, family members really help. If if it's not for them, I don't think I'll even post that apology, you mm. know? Because I feel like I'm not at fault. Yeah. You know? But they said that you need to, you need to, you need to own it. 
and then and I did and it really turned around for me. Yeah. The DM just stopped after that. Wow. It stopped. In fact, I got so many comforting and uh, comforting encouraging words from netizens after that saying like, oh, it's so brief of you to, you know, apologize yeah. even though you're not at fault. Yeah. So it made me feel very good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you talk about support system and I agree. I think you have a wonderful support system. Yeah, yes. I'm so grateful. Your, your family is amazing. Yeah. We know your husband is amazing because just before we, re- we start, started recording this, <laughs> this um, podcast we were in the green room and Nurul told me this amazing thing her husband did uh, and a situation that actually I hadn't heard about it was not re- reported anywhere but please share about the situation and what your husband did and yeah <laughs> so yeah okay <laughs> so um I actually usually always get hit comments you know and I learned to deal with it <laughs> but there was one particular time when I learned that there is no point getting affected, guys. Because, um, okay, this happened in 2014, okay? So, I during filming, I actually broke my arm and uh, I had to go through surgery. And when I had to be put in a cast and everything, and then New Paper actually um, wrote an article about it and posted it up on Facebook so there were so many comments. And then there was one particular comment from this particular guy who said that, um, I wish I wish she would die. She should just die, you know? She deserves it. I don't like her. She's mean. And then, I don't know this guy, okay? I don't know who he is. And then I showed my husband and my husband was like, let me see, let me see. <laughs> Showing him the, 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 <laughs> the profile and the picture. And I was like, okay, okay. I remember this guy. And I'm like, okay, I brushed it off. Yeah. And then, a couple of months after that, I wasn't even in a cast anymore. I'm so free, not in pain anymore. And then, we went to a restaurant and then, my husband was sitting beside me. He was eating and then he suddenly stopped eating. I asked him why. And he said, Hey, it's that guy. I'm like, what guy? He said, That's the guy who commented about you. I'm like, What? <laughs> Cannot be. I said, How can you remember? He said, I remember. I remember his face. I'm like, Okay, then what? He said, You wait here. I'm like, No. I said, No. No, no, no. We're going to go. We're going to go. He said, No, no, no. You just wait here. I said, No. And at that point of time, I was with my kids. No, I said, you're not going to start a fight here. Please don't. It's in a restaurant. And he's like, no, I'm just going to talk. I'm like, okay, then I'll go with you. So I went with him. I was so scared, guys. My heart was beating so fast. <laughs> oh and then he, this guy was sitting with his wife and then um, he had his udon. <laughs> I remember what he ate, udon. <laughs> and, you know, he was, he was like eating and then my husband just went straight to him and said, hey, you remember her or not? And then he was like, he he didn't know want to look up, okay? He was like holding his fork and spoon. He was like, huh? Huh? <laughs> you look so blur. And then my husband said, remember what you said about her? You said what? She should die, right? You said she should die, right? And then he was like, huh? Where, where God? Where God? He was so scared. And then part I don't know what to do. I was like, tell my husband, come, let's go, let's go, let's just go, let's just go. Then my husband said, wait, 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 wait. No, really? Why, why? Why you say that about her? Then he kept on saying that it's not him. No, no, my God, it's not me, it's not me. Until my husband flashed his Facebook profile. He took out his phone and searched. And he's like, eh, you right. Eh, this is you right, this is you right. And then he did the most unbelievable thing. He actually turned to his wife and said, you eh, know, the before that, before that, the wife said, what's going on? What's this? What now? And then he turned to his wife and said, what? You also don't like her, what? You also got say things oh about god. her. <laughs> oh my this god. the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's so like, what kind of a oh my god. husband does that to the wife? And then, it was it was a very sad thing for the wife. I was just looking at the wife, I'm like, my god, I really feel for you, man. Like, your husband just threw you under the bus, man. Totally. He was the one who, who commented about me and now he's blaming you, you know? So he was like, uh, yeah, you also don't like her, what? <laughs> and then my husband like, just want to tell you, uh, how would you feel if I were to say, your wife should die. She's mean. I don't like her. How would you feel? He just kept quiet. And then I pulled my husband. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then after that, we went off. But that was when I learned that all these mean people who comment on your social media, they are just keyboard warriors. When you see them face to face, they are freaking cowards, guys. <laughs> they are the shadow really? of themselves online, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. just, don't, don't, don't get too affected, really. You know, you don't see people coming up to you and say these things in your face. You know, like, I really don't like you. You know, you mm. don't get that because yeah. people are not daring enough to do that. They yeah. only do it behind the keyboard. Exactly. So you were saying also that this came, I mean... Because of all these comments, I mean, that was actually the lowest point in your life. Um, uh, yeah, that was, yeah? yeah. It was during that period because I, um, I won a, an award 
like for several years, I keep winning the same award, which is the most popular personality. Yeah. And then there was one particular year where I got nominated and I got very, very scared. I didn't want to tell people I got nominated because I know that people would like hate on me and say like, why her again, you know? But it's not like I chose to be nominated, you know? That is so sad because it's a happy thing. You worked hard for, you know, your, your job. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can't celebrate yeah. the fact that you were nominated. Yeah. That's really sad. Yeah, in fact, when I found out that uh, I got nominated, I actually went to uh, one of my friends working in Mediacorp Surya and said that, is there any way that they can remove my name? I oh said, my, my friend said, why? I said, people actually voted for you to be nominated. I said, yeah, but you know, it's going to be so bad for me. You know, I really want... Two years ago, can you just like go and not not put me in? But they said they can't do that because it's based on votes on Facebook. Right. And it's obvious. It's that, there. Yeah, I was yeah. leading. So yeah. So I I we went we went for the award show and I won. And then that was the darkest <laughs> the darkest part of my life, really. It, w- it was hell because after I won, people sent so much hate, so much that, you know, I just couldn't take it. I was crying, you know. They were talking about my kids. They were saying, like, I don't deserve this. They were asking, like, why her again? When actually, I didn't even do anything. I didn't even ask people to vote, you know. And it's based on votes from fans, from, from you know, people online. So I felt really, really down at that point of time. And um, my husband actually helped me uh, get back up. You know, he kept telling me like, um, you don't owe these people a living. You know, you cannot get too affected. And you know that this this shall pass too. Yeah, and slowly I got back, I got back up. And then <laughs> two years later, I got nominated again. <laughs> and were you <laughs> as affected? Um, I was quiet again. Okay. I didn't tell people about it. I, I was ready. I was ready to um, go for war in case I yeah. win. But I didn't win. <laughs> I'm like, why? Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> why? I never win. But yeah, so I didn't win and I was happy. Oh Can you imagine? Gosh. I was happy I didn't win, you know. And then two years later, I got nominated again. And then I campaigned, bro. Oh, that's <laughs> I awesome. I campaigned. I was like, I don't care really, you know. Yeah. I'm going to win this. And I won. All right. <laughs> and then, no. I got hate comments still, but then I'm, I'm not even affected by it. That's incredible. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Was there like a switch in your brain that you just kind of went like, or a sudden sort of realisation that actually really, I don't know these people. Yeah. And to be honest, I don't have to be affected by it. Yeah, I think I, I grew up. <laughs> I'm more <laughs> mature and I'm like, oh, I care. Oh, I care about what people think, you know? And I'm just like, okay, I won, yay. You hit me, all right, bye. I still win, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. And I think also, right, motherhood does that to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. After I have three kids, uh, I've become this like really gung-ho and don't give a toot yes. about people, you know? Yes. Yeah, it's this attitude that I really like in me. <laughs> it's a bit of a super woman... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that you have yeah, because maybe. you've birthed three children. You're raising three kids, yeah. balancing a working life. You're a full time working mom. I mean, I mean, come on, like yeah, that's what? the least of your problems. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. It's like <laughs> I have so many other things to handle. You know, I yeah. I ain't got time to handle your comments. I yeah. love it. I love your sunny disposition. That's what you've always represented to me. Um, And I think it's rubbed off on the way you raise your kids because I read a recent article about your amazing son. I mean, that's really kind. Uh, From what I read, he was um, uh, lending money to a a less fortunate Mm -hmm. classmate of his Mm -hmm. uh, to buy food for recess time and all that for close to a year and didn't tell you about it. Yeah. And how did you find out about it? (laughs) We were, um, we had uh, mother and son time, just the two of us, without anybody else. So we were sitting at Starbucks and then I was asking him, so what's up in life? And he's like, oh, nothing. He's not the sort who talks a lot, you see. So I, I asked him, so Sean, what do you always eat during recess? Then he, then, then he started telling me, oh, um, I usually only buy a drink. I'm like, oh, okay, why? Then he's like, um, because I give my friend money. And that was when I'm like, you give your friend money? At first I was mad, like, why are you giving your friend money, you know? And then when he told me the story, he said his friend always doesn't have enough. And then I asked him, so, okay, when you give your friend money, the next day, did you ask for it back? Then he said, um, yeah. Then I'm like, okay, 
So, and then you have extra money for your recess, right? So, what will you usually eat? Um, I'll only buy a drink. I said, why? But you have enough now that he's paid you the money. He said, yeah. no, because sometimes he only pays me 20 cents. I said, so how much do you always give him? Like $1. Why does he only pay you 20 cents back? He said, um, mommy, you don't angry with me. Ah. <laughs> you don't get angry. Ah. I said, why? Um, because the thing is that teacher knows that he always doesn't have money and teacher knows that I always give him money. So the next day, teacher will always ask him, have you paid Shan back? And I know that he doesn't have much. He doesn't have enough to pay me back the $1. So I'll just take 20 cents so that if teacher asks me whether he paid me back, I can say that he did. Oh even though it's God. not the full amount. And my heart just sank. I'm yeah. like, that's a lie. But then it's so kind of him to yeah. actually, you know, cover up for his friend like that. Mm. You know, I was like... I was so touched at Starbucks. I cried. I want to cry. <laughs> My goodness. That's so sweet. Yeah, that was so sweet. And then I was shocked and I was like, I don't know what to tell him because he lied to his teacher, you see. Mm. And then I said, um, well, you shouldn't lie. I say, but I know that you're trying to do a good thing. So maybe you should just tell your teacher the truth. You know that uh, um, he wanted to pay me, but I, I'm not taking the full amount. Yeah. And then he said, oh yeah, okay, okay, next time I'll do that. Then I asked him, how long has this been happening? Oh, since the start of the year. I'm like, what? <laughs> For the whole entire year? I didn't know. And I felt, wow. He's such a good boy. Yeah. I'm so blessed, really. I like, I don't teach him these things, you know. It's like, he has always been the one who, who teaches me, you know, like to be kind, to, to take time. And he's always giving me life lessons. You know, there was one point of time, I uploaded this on IG as well. And people were like sharing it because we were late for school I was sending him to school and then my daughter my daughter is blur la, okay? my second daughter she's just she's just another character I cannot with her so we, we left we were driving halfway reaching school she realised she forgot her school bag <laughs> school bag guys like what How do you bring cute. to school your school bag but so cute <laughs> she forgot her school bag and then then I'm like, oh, how? Okay, fine. We have to drive back then. So yeah. we drove back and then obviously we were late already. I was driving really fast. And then when we reached the school, by the time it was really 7.25, you know, the bell rings at 7.30. And I'm like, okay, just go, just go. Don't, don't need to, you don't, don't need to salam me or whatever, just go. Yeah. Then my son actually stopped me and said, but mommy, what if this is the last time I ever see you? Is oh this how? God. Is this how you want to end it? I'm like, oh my god, bro! <laughs> I want to cry now. <laughs> and at that point of time, he was only in P P three. Oh my! Yeah. Wow. And then I just stopped right there, and I'm like, that is so true. Mm. Like you can be late for anything, but like, what if that is the last time you ever see exactly. someone you love? You will regret no, it. The regret. Rest of you. <laughs> Yeah, you get what I mean? Yeah. So he's always giving me this like mm. life lessons, I would mm. say, you know. And I'm really blessed because he's really got such a kind heart. Yeah. God bless him. He, I think uh, you're blessed uh, for having such a great kid. I mean, you must yeah. have done something great. Yes, Nurul. I must have. Okay, because we know you're a lion mom and a proud lion mom at that, we are going to have a little activity. Oh. Um, towards the end of um, every podcast that we do, we have like a thing where it's like a take a take a break, take a mind break sort of oh, thing. Okay. So we have some crafts. Oh. So we are going to make um, our own um, lion face slash lion mane with some... Uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> what? So Grace is going to pass us some things and we have some crafts so we can make our own little face. I think doing crafts actually kind of like helps you sort of get your brain out of a mm. negative funk. You know, yeah, sometimes yeah. you just need your brain to like stop going. Just relax. Yeah. Hey, mine looks like a lantern instead, no? Oh. I don't know what mine looks like. It's like to go all the way. Mine looks like a Chinese New Year lantern. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, I had my fringe a bit. So I look. That oh. is so cute. <laughs> I feel like I need to like, shove more shove more colours here. Don't want to take it off. Imagine me driving home like that. Yes, please do. Or maybe attend a Zoom meeting with mine. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> principal will be like, what the hell? <laughs> 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 you look so cute. <laughs> I can see your eyes.
highlight only. <laughs> highlight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go on the Zoom meeting and say, Hi, I'm Lion Mom. <laughs> yeah. Did you forget? I was, I'm the Lion Mom, man, you know? Yeah, work it, Lion Mom. Work it. Work it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking so cute. Oh, my God. Look at this girl. Working it. Work it. Work it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Are You OK podcast. Neural, you are a star. I loved having you. Thank you so much for having me, Jean. So we've got to do a part two, okay, when your kids become teenagers? Ah, yes, yes. I'll yeah. come back crying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. All I knew was I was desperate to, I need to tell my mom. Because it has always been just the two of us. So I need to tell her that I... The, your cheerful and wonderful and marvellous daughter is not feeling very well to the extent that I really, I think I don't want to live. Um, it wasn't like, Mom, I'm going to kill myself. It was more of like, I don't want to live. So when I confided in her, her reaction really made me feel the... the, um, the, the strength of a mother.